Hello and welcome to my review of the Hidden Compartment Illusionist Locket. Now this particular locket can actually form into two different shapes in which two different photos are revealed. And behind these two different photos are hidden compartments that you can store your small valuables such as an ibuprofen tablet or even a cremation ash container that is also sold on the website for about five bucks. Now without further ado, let's jump right into the review. So first, I'd like to show you how the hidden compartment actually works. So when you open up this locket, you can either switch it to the heart position or the normal position, and you just twist the outside edge of the two halves of the locket, and it'll come completely off. It's not breaking it, don't worry. But you can just set it aside, and you can actually take your ibuprofen tablet and just lift up the picture a little bit and tuck it right in between the picture and the metal. Now likewise, I'm flipping it to the other side, and like I said, you can do it from either the heart position or the normal locket position. And right here we have the cremation, cremation ash locket compartment that they also sell on the website for $5. And you can take the cremation ashes of a loved one, put them in here, and it's as easy as lifting the picture up a little bit and just placing it right behind the picture. And then you just have to line up the other half of the locket with the picture side and twist it so it's back in place. And as you can see, right now I have both of them in this locket, so you can use both compartments at once, one for the ibuprofen tablet and one for the cremation ashes. And now to changing the photo. You'll need your photo, a pair of scissors, the two side tape you received, and the punch that you received. And you'll start with the photo. And as you can see, the punch can't quite reach the picture that you need it to. So, to solve this problem, you have your scissors, in which you can use to cut off the excess photo, making it more accessible for you to reach the part of the photo you want to get to. I'll take the punch back, or not the punch, sorry. You'll take the two-sided tape that you're sent, cut it in half, and then from those halves you'll be able to cut it in half again, and even cut it in half again. So this way you'll have eight different pieces that you'll be able to use for pictures in the future, but you'll use two right now. So the first one is for your first picture. You want to make sure you have it lined up with the picture that you want to take out. Take off the two-sided tape and make sure you stick it directly behind the picture you want to use. You want to be able to use the brown side. The other side is just not the sticky. So you want to stick it on, make sure you press it, press it firmly, now once it's lined up directly behind, you can take your punch and line it up, and you want to line it up so the, the shallow half is on top, and it's also shown in the picture that you'll get sent on the how to install your picture. Um, you want to press down with your palm on it, and take the picture out, and it looks like it came out just fine, and you want to take a pencil and just poke the image right through, and it'll come out. This one rolled away from me a little bit, but I'll bring it right back into the image to show you that everything came out just fine. So now that your photo is all punched out, you'll be able to take your locket, open it up, and if you want to replace the picture of the woman in there, you can just take the half off just like that. Otherwise, in this instance, I'll be taking and switching with the photo of the man. So I'll be taking the right half of the locket out, peeling the picture off, and if you look on the back of it, you'll see that only half of the image has a tape on it. And that's so you can use the hidden compartment without it being stuck to by the two-sided tape. So in this particular instance, it's the left half of the photo. So you want to start peeling the back side of the image, and then once it's peeled, you want to unfold it so it's a little bit over halfway folded. Um, this is because the scissors takes a little bit of room to cut. In the end, you want it to be exactly half. So once it's folded back, you want to take your scissors and cut that excess of the brown part off. So now half of your image is sticky and half of it is not. The sticky part of the image should be on the left side and you want to place that right on the bale of the lock and on the inside. <clears throat> so you want to press down to make sure it's sealed and then you can just twist your locket piece back on. And now you can open it up and if you want to put your ibuprofen tablet in it, you can just lift the picture back slightly, tuck it right in, and then turn your picture of your locket back. So right now you have the ibuprofen tablets hidden safely behind your brand new picture. Um, 
this is the most unique locket I've ever seen in my entire life. It has function where you can actually have two small compartments you can store some valuables to you. It has the wow factor, the, the fact that you have two separate photos that's actually an interchangeable locket so it's not just open and see a picture, you can open it and adjust it and show two different pictures and every time you show someone uh, changing pictures it amazes them and they want to know where to get one and it's at illusionlockets.com so I highly encourage all of you to check out the website there's tons of different lockets on there uh, there's there's wood there's also acrylic which is kind of like a, a plastic glass mixture um, beautiful colors in that so more designs than just a butterfly as well so definitely go check it out pick out your favorite locket let me know what you think and I'll get back to you as soon as I can <laughs>